always roll down the middle of Main Street. The windows are all broken and the doors they all creak in this ghost town. No vacancy neon dangling by a wire. The beds are all empty cause there ain't no desire in this ghost town. This ghost town The rust eats the paint off the Texaco sign The wind blows the dust across the dirty skyline In this ghost town Well, the moon's hanging full But you hide from the light With the goblins and ghouls That come out at night In this ghost town But you've got nothing to fear why nobody lives around here hell you can't even die in this ghost town yeah this ghost town just stand in line kiss the rain of a host or some unholy angel is a raising a toast when you dance with what scares you the most is you can see all the way through If you're looking real close Are you looking real close? Ain't nothing but ghosts In this ghost town Grill, 
And the clothes are out bag drying just beyond the window sill. If you're looking for America and you don't mind being late, you can find her on the back road just off the interstate. your car And that little church on Main Street Still a sacred place Where they gather every Sunday And they sing amazing grace If you're looking for America And you don't mind being late You can't find her on the back roads Just off the interstate Story of how, how about the doghouse kind of interesting. It was the very first trip out to uh, out to Lily when I took Sid. Uh, we were wandering around different towns and stuff, and we came in here. It wasn't quite painted pink yet. It was white, and uh, nobody was around. We parked over here, and we're looking, and then there's a cigarette, an old cigarette ad on one of those glass things over there. 
I remember taking a picture of that crouched down. Me and Sid just talking over here and everything. We're looking at the thing, and all of a sudden, I hear this. And it's like, uh, you know, and I turn around, and there's this this guy. <laughs> and he's got this cowboy hat on and, and bibs. And, and he's got this golf cart and this light going <laughs> and a badge on. <laughs> and, and I go, what did I do? <laughs> and he goes, he goes, something we had this inter interchange and it was like, I'm the sheriff of Willie. What did you guys do at this? <laughs> I said, I something, um, maybe that I was the president and I was visiting there. So, <laughs> but it was funny because it was Dwayne's dad looking out for his place when he wasn't around. The place was uh, locked and closed, but we did these pictures. Then another jump to another workshop. Then once we got the workshop started, one of the early workshops, some people were wandering around the town uh, when we were turned loose to take pictures. And uh, a, a small group of the people, like one, one car load of people, found Dewey and then were invited inside. Dewey cranked up tunes, and uh, he was married then, and his yep. wife would sing. And she, she sang some songs on the stage in there and stuff. The annoying part about these guys in the workshop is that they, they wanted to keep that to themselves. They just held on those pictures. They were like, they, they weren't even going to tell anybody about these, this fellow they met and the, that they got in here. And then I happened to be still cruising around the town. And I walked around and I saw Freddie. Is it Jason? Jason. Jason poking out of that window on the side if you didn't see him. Go around the side and look at Jason. But I see Jason there's a little sticker that says, Parents, do you know where your children are? Have you, have you hugged your kids? Oh, yeah, is that what it is? <laughs> yeah, I hugged your kids today. today. Yeah, so it's like intense. And, I was, and then I come around the corner, and then he was locking up. And uh, then we met. That's the first time we met. And then went in. And then all these, for years now, uh, Dewey's been a part of the workshop for uh, um you know, for either a late night party sometimes, or we've uh, come in in the day like this, and then we uh, kind of like the late night parties. Didn't yeah, we? <laughs> <laughs> we gotta get back to that. I keep getting old and and frumpy. We do. Um, so anyway, Dewey, why don't you tell them a little quickie about Butler, and then and then jump to what happened with this. Well, this was the general store from I don't know when it was built, but. Hey, Miranda. I'm the lady you. owned it. They used to have coffee on one side, and I stored things in here. And as time went by, they quit having coffee. It was a coffee shop. And I asked her if she wanted to sell it. Got a nice kid, And dude. she said, well, you know what, Dwayne? I don't have any kids, and I was wondering what I was going to do with it. So she gave it to me for a dollar. Oh, wow. Good. So they don't leave nice. Nice. Did you give it to her in quarters? This is what I did to it. I call it a living museum. <laughs> This is something I put together, and when you walk into it, it's my uh, art, I guess. Sure, yeah, sure. Yeah. Your collection. And it's called the Dog House. Yeah. But yeah. inside's a register, and if you'd all sign it, I'd appreciate it, please. Sure. That's great. I really don't have a whole lot more to say about the town. It's not much of the town. It's, you got yeah. more people living here than Lily. <clears throat> yeah, we are still, we still have a council. Yeah. How many people live here? I am here? part of the council. There's actually... Only six of us, I believe, and one's a baby. It used to be seven. You know, there was more than that, and then it just keeps getting less and yeah. less. So the state can actually come in and say, you guys are dissolved, you know, if they want to, because you have to have under 10 people, they can dissolve you. Oh, okay. You know, okay. they'd like, you know, but they're still out checking accounts and funds. So. Well, come on in. Yeah, we're sitting around, had a beer, but they went to town. Came over and said, Hey there, you're new. Let's go down to the church of beer.
like, next year, maybe you should change your string. 